Welcome to this video featuring the delightful Hornby Peckett, named Henry and numbered 1264. Unlike normal reviews, I thought we'd enjoy seeing some close-ups of the loco working and a story based on the prototype's operating area. Once again, Hornby have done well, really well, with this intricate little 060, showing once more that when they do get it right, they really, really do. The lining even extends to the wheels, and the red chassis shows up the details well. We have a lovely little cab to which I've added a driver. Henry was built in 1913 by Peckett and Sons at their Bristol Works. He did not stray far from home, as he was to spend his entire life on the Avonmouth and Royal Edwards Docks Railway System under the control of the Bristol Corporation's Docks Committee. Henry worked very hard over the 60 miles of track at the docks as part of the fleet of shunting locos owned by the Bristol Corporation Docks Committee, later to become the Port of Bristol Authority. The engines would move goods around the dock, as well as passenger trains. It's clear that the engines worked very hard indeed, with a 1947 report warning that there was gross overloading of the locomotives, with sometimes as many as 30 oil tank wagons being moved about the docks. By March 1957, poor Henry was worn out and sadly sold for scrap. Almost every kind of goods imaginable was handled at the docks, including banana traffic. See my special video on the link up the top right now. Now sit back and enjoy Henry getting on with what he was built for. To aid you in understanding the operations you're reviewing, be aware that one of Henry's jobs is transfer freights to and from the docks and Bristol Station. The company are trying a special staff train service operated by the docks locomotives and you will see Henry arriving with one of these today.
Carpenters and Sons from Tiverton and Devon had recently won a coal and coke export contract, meaning the sidings could sometimes be full of their colourful wagons. Henry is just marshalling the train ready for another transfer to the station and onward by Great Western Metals.